Hello everyone, my name is Charles and I want to welcome you to Serial Design FX, the ultimate brand design channel. Are you on brand? This video is going to be, are you on brand? Thank you for watching. The recent events of America has been highlighting a lot of different aspects of the U.S. I want to talk to you about the American brand. What does it stand for? Everyone has lost sight of that, that this is about the image of America. It has a leadership brand. It stands for something, but here's the thing that people miss. What does it stand against? So you need to understand that because are you going to be on brand? This is not a debate about Donald Trump. It is about what the American brand stands for and stands against. Number one, they have pointed out that the news media has been manipulating the public. How they portray the events happening on in the United States. I'm in Cebu, Philippines. I see this thing from a totally different perspective. I see the comments from Australia. I see the comments from Australia. And I'm getting a global view of what's really happening. One of the things that Elon Musk pointed out, he said this, it was really interesting. He said, people with doctor's degrees are gonna write a paper that nobody's gonna read. And Elon Musk said, education is absolutely useful. In a way, that's true because the education system produces gatekeepers. Therefore, if you go through the education system and you get that degree, you have become a gatekeeper to preserve the system that they taught you. Like they tell you, human resources is not your friend. They are the gatekeepers. Here's something that you miss or you may not have. When you get employed, you sign a legal document. It is, gives you the corporate policies. How many of you have ever read it? If you read it carefully, they put you under censorship. You do not have freedom of speech. This is the deep state. This is how deep this goes. If you go out in public, talking about things that goes against your brand, you'll get fired. You're going to start seeing that. You're going to start seeing that a lot of these people that have been speaking up on social media, they're going to get fired because they posted something on social media that went against corporate policy. The corporate policies are not designed for you. They're designed against you. They're designed to control you. This is how deep this system goes. I'm going to give you an example. I was a digital campaign manager for a nonprofit in the political space in Wisconsin. Because I worked with them, I signed a corporate policy, which they modified later, saying that I could not work for any of the nonprofits that I had encountered. See, that's some systematic control because I'm working in the nonprofit space. I cannot approach them privately for a different position. However, the executives, they will approach other people from other nonprofits and steal from each other. And that creates a environment that you cannot compete successfully for your career. That's really serious. It's so bad that as a single person, it created a negative environment because I'm trying to date other women 
but most of the people that I've come in touch with are in some way associated with a nonprofit, which makes them off limits. And when they find out what I do, that makes me a target to be used for the unscrupulous motives of other women, which happened to me because I started dating her and then all of a sudden she wanted to come in and get a nonprofit grant, but she was trying to manipulate the system. And then when they caught up with her, they wanted, she wanted to accuse them of using her treatment of me as a reason for turning her down. This is how bad the system really is. You don't have freedom of speech. Here's another one. When you signed up for these platforms, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, there's a document that says, you, you check this box that says, I have read and agreed to the agreements in this document. And you check yes, but you never read it. Those documents have requirements of how you are to conduct yourself on the platform. Therefore, you are censored. See, that freedom of speech stuff, that's, that's the biggest bunch of bullshit. It really is. Because when you start working for other companies, you are bound by legal agreements for employment. And then when you get on these social media platforms, even as an independent, they can cancel you if you're not abiding to their guidelines. That happens on YouTube all the time. This is the kind of stuff the deep state has put in place and it is, it's against your freedom. That's the only way I can put it. It's against your freedom. I remember years ago, the NFL owners had these kind of statements in the contracts with the players that they couldn't switch teams. They had to go to court for that one. These are the kind of things that are embedded in the U.S. system that keep you controlled. Here's another one. You talk about equal pay. That's not going to happen. Because as a professional, they tracked the salaries of every position in the United States and in every country in the world. It is with a company called Mercator. It's a Mercator salary report. So they monitor your salary from country to country so that you cannot work outside that range for that salary no matter where you are on this planet unless you go as a personal brand and become a key person of influence, which is what happened. And what you're going to see more of is that the key persons of influence on YouTube, which is the public, is going to start calling out the brands that are not aligned with the American brand, which is God's plan. So I'm asking, are you going to be on brand with your company, your business, or your personal brand? My name is Charles, the Marketing Maverick on LinkedIn. I coach personal brands and work with corporations to make sure that they're on brand and present the right message that fits within their environment. You can schedule a discovery call with me. The last thing I want to cover is about being on brand. And this is something that just came on LinkedIn. Every country has a different brand profile. This is something that one of the guys from Denmark pointed out to me. He said that in China, they have a different profile, which I knew something about that. He said, in America, white means one thing and is life and black is death. In China, it's the reverse. They wear white for funerals and black is, means something else. These are brand differences, which are related to the country. And this guy pointed out this one thing that I didn't know. You heard of the movie Star Trek? The last one, I haven't seen it, but the poster had an African-American star on the poster in America. In China, he's not on there because they are supposedly racist against African-Americans. It goes against their brand. That's why I'm asking you, 
are you going to be on brand? And if you're going to be responding globally, your digital marketing messaging has to be on brand for the country that you're in. I notice here in the Philippines, they have a different color scheme. Entirely different. But that's another video. My name is Charles the Marketing Maverick. Click like, subscribe, and watch this next video that YouTube thinks you're going to be interested in.